let me run through some challenges, because there's a few. Oftentimes, when people are getting started building data lakes, there's a lot of manual work. There's a lot of coding. There's a lot of command line tools. Once you actually start populating that lake, it can be very hard to find data. You can maybe do a listing of your directory, see what your tables are, but you know, there's not necessarily a lot of information like lineage and metadata and who accessed it, where did it come from. Also, when people initially build out data lakes, they're doing it with a specific use case or solution in mind, and oftentimes when you do that, the way you're getting the data in, the way the data is being processed, what ends up happening to that data, sometimes is built into a single solution. So now you don't really have an ingestion framework for your data lake. You have this one solution that kind of coupled these things together. Once you're maturing in your data lake journey, you have to operationalize everything, right? You have SLAs, you have teams that are going to get paged in the middle of the night if this partition doesn't show up in the table because we are selling that data to a customer and we've guaranteed in their contract that it should be there. Ensuring data is in the canonical forms. This person has date of birth this way, that table has date of birth that way, this customer ID is zero padded and that one's not, this is a long and that's an int and that's a string. Very typical kinds of problems, especially in Hadoop. And if you're not the person who's doing the manual coding, you might be a person who's filing a ticket or picking up the phone, tapping someone on the shoulder and asking them to do it for you. In more mature organizations and people who have actually gone further and further down this journey, they run into problems like having multiple architectures. Different teams at different times for different applications use different tech. So they might have used different distributions, different NoSQL databases, different processing engines, different libraries, all kinds of different choices, which creates a lot of complexity downstream. Especially when you're doing something like guaranteeing compliance. So if everyone's using different frameworks for ingestion or storage or whatever it is, how are you supposed to guarantee some kind of compliance? And when you're in a system like Hadoop or cloud-based object storage, they're basically schema on read systems. So you can just put data in it without giving it any definition. So it doesn't exactly lead to the cleanest lakes. And then sharing infrastructure, and this has been a really big struggle on-premise for people. Sharing infrastructure is really hard in a multi-tenant environment without basically deep quality service support all the way down the stack. And you don't really have that today in the Hadoop and big data market. 